Hey, good Monday evening, Piper. <coughs> Coming at you from a little bit different location in the house today. The little breakfast area where I'm usually at occupied, so uh, slid on into the dining room a little bit here. Oh, everybody's doing good. I'm smoking some uh, Cajun Queen, an MA's blend. From my my good friend Buddy, I started to say my buddy Buddy, <laughs> but from my friend Buddy in uh, Eddie Mays and Shreveport. Um, this is a good, rich little aromatic, real heavy on the Cavendish. It's in the, about the same line as the uh, Wall Street Piper's Pleasure. Um, um, A mountain view from Strauss and that kind of thing. Good little old smooth aromatic, not anything overpowering or is any heavy casing or whatnot. And I'm smoking it in my um, little HIS pipe, H I S, that I picked up. It's just a little, um, just a cut above. It's basically a basket pipe, but uh, maybe a cut above. It's just a cut above a no name. Some people may say it's quite a bit better than a Nona, and it probably is, because I love it. It's a great smoker. You know, I've showed it to y'all before. I've given it several days rest. They had two down there, a black one just like this one, and uh, then this one, and I, I wish now I'd have bought both of them, because the, the draw and everything is so good on it, and the way it feels in your hand, and the, the way it complements the blend, and doesn't burn hot, and those are the things that make it a good little smoker for me. <coughs> I didn't do a whole lot today. We did, my wife and Emily and myself and our, little, our granddaughter went into town and had some lunch and went to a new place in town. I didn't realize it was a chain called Dickie's. <laughs> Believe it or not, we're in the barbecue business, but we decided, which we rarely do, but we went to try Dickies and uh, I like it. They're out of, based out of Dallas. I don't know how many locations they got, but if any of y'all ever tried them, I'm sure you'll agree. And uh, if you hadn't and you see one, they're they're worth trying. And I'm in the barbecue business, and uh, I, my wife usually won't eat nobody's barbecue but ours. But she said, you know, it's different than ours, but I, I will go back. She said she'll go back, and I know I'll go back because I, you know, I get to, I love barbecue, and I there are some people in now ours is informable, but there's a couple of three places. Well, with that now, there's about let's see, one, two, there's three, yeah, there's three places different uh, barbecue names in Monroe. There's about a couple of them's got a, like three lo. One of them's got three locations, and other's got. See, Dankin Trail only has one, and then, of course, now the uh, Dickies has one. But um, I go to Dankin Trail or Barbecue West occasionally. I'll slip off over if I'm by myself and <coughs> sneak in and eat some barbecue. I just don't let my wife know. <laughs> no, um, you know I like it. And uh, but this was good. They, they, they've got a little bit different barbecues than we're used to around here. And and we do a Texas. Most most everybody around here likes the Texas style barbecue. But uh, this one they put an onion. You know, cut a piece of onion and just one ring of an onion and, and lay it on top. Like I had a chopped beef barbecue sandwich, and it wasn't chopped as fine as I like it. But I but I liked it. And they pour the sauce on it. Everybody around here chops it dry, hands it to you, and you pour your sauce on it. And we do it that way, or we offer one, the old-fashioned, um, at our restaurant, they, we call it just the old-fashioned chip beef barbecue or mince barbecue. Serve it to you, and it's simmered in sauce. comes in a big pot full of the chopped beef brisket, and we put it on a bun. We use a scooper and put a big big scoop of it on a bun. It makes a, you know, makes a pretty good size sandwich. And uh, we do it both ways, the dry or the wet. The, they take it and then just pour a ladle of barbecue sauce on it. Put two pickles on it and that onion uh, ringlet on it. It's not battered. It's just a, it's raw onion. And it was good. I 
I didn't know if I'd like it that way, but I ate it and kept the onion and pickle on it. <coughs> their sauce is a little different, but it was it was good. They've got it. They had their, their sauce, the sweet sauce, and the, and the spicy. I like the spicy and the sweet a little better on theirs. I tried them on, and I got a little, some sausage, and they had a, their sausage looked like it had black pepper in it. It was pretty decent. Spicy baked beans. Um, They've got the stuffed potatoes like we do and um, some salads. They had a cornbread bun. I didn't try it. It looked good. It was a limited time only. Um, but uh, if you get a chance, they're good. Try If you see one somewhere at Dickies, I'm going to get online later tonight and see how many locations they've got. But I'd recommend it. It's good. I want to welcome back Piper Phil from his, uh, he's been out about a week now, and I um, also want to extend uh, sympathies to him. <coughs> he lost his brother-in-law, and um, they've had a death in the family, and uh, uh, if you hadn't uh, seen his latest video, uh, go by and uh, and wish him your sympathies, and uh, keep him in your prayers, as, as apparently it's his wife's, bro his wife's husband, and you know, it's it's tough to lose, a, you know, a loved one, and to watch a sibling lose a spouse is just, you know, it's, you know, I know my sisters and their their husbands and my brother and his wife. I mean, you know, and I, you know, not to mention the fact that you're close to them yourself, and you know, the pain you feel from losing someone that that was that close to you, but then. The, to see your your sibling, the pain and that they go through, the suffering and the hurting. So, Phil, we're, we're, our prayers are with you, and uh, they surely are. We're glad to see you back, and glad your your beer uh, brewing deal is going good. Keep us posted on that. Kind of like Guy Witherspoon, you get to really get one churning and enjoying that smoky. <clears throat> Sometimes better off to keep your mouth shut and enjoy it. <laughs> I do a lot of rambling on these videos, but if y'all seen me sitting back enjoying my pipe, you'd see an altogether different fella. Yeah, I don't talk much. If I'm really enjoying it, be hard pressed to get anything out of me. But Cajun Queen has always been one that I really enjoyed from MAs. Uh, Wall Street is my favorite. I like the Cajun Queen, the rum rummy they've got. <coughs> my new favorite one over there. <clears throat> it is almost as good as the Ralph is the uh, Wall Street is the Ralph's mix number two. The Ralph's mix, his dad's blend, that the late uh, Buddy's late father. Uh, it's a blend of Cavendish and Virginias and Burleys with a co with coconut casing on it. Kind of a tropical blend. Y'all have heard me say this before. Well, the, the number two, the Ralph's Mix number two, is all of the above without the uh, tropical casing on it, without the coconut flavor. And, buddy, I, I like the coconut one. It's, it's good. Um, it's a good, you know, scale of one to ten. In my book, it's a six and a half or seven. But uh, by, by George, that number two is ranks up there pretty dang close to a 10 at Wall Street Zone. It's bumping that 10. But unfortunately, my mother, when she left, they were closed going over, and they came back on Sunday from Dallas and went to see my sister that lives in Denton. And um, so we didn't get to make a... He may run, but look, I went by Governor's today, and I called Friday Ellis there. The name's, man's name is Friday Ellis. He's not a very old guy. He's probably late thirties, maybe forty. For some reason or other, I had him picked as a as an older gentleman. I maybe maybe been thinking about his dad because I'm I'm sure I was. But anyway, it's very nice guy. I drove up, and he was out there. He's in his work clothes. He's he's doing a lot of the renovations on that building itself. And like I say, it's in the end of a convenience store. We got a convenience store in the center. It's a really nice upscale convenience store with a little restaurant on the end called Trios that kind of recesses out. And then they had it on the end, it kind of recessed out a little bit. Was a bank, 
and the bank's been gone over a year, maybe closer to two. Well, Friday rented the bank part of it, and he said it has been hecked to renovate it. He's pushed his opening date back till April the 1st. He had targeted March 1st or the first week in March. He said they had so many issues getting that safe out of there, and it, it had to be moved. So you couldn't get around it because it really wasn't a big bank. It was just a little drive-up bank. You could walk in, had a little lobby, but with that say it had to come out to give him the room that he needed. But he showed me where the lounge is going to be, and it'll be plenty big enough for 15, 16, 18 guys to, or girls to sit around, maybe 20, and have some couches and some stools and a little counter bar area. Then he's going to have an area where he... Uh, um. You know, his, his sales counter area, then his humidor, there's going to be a walk-in humidor. He just got the uh, the wood in today for it, and uh, was excited they were unloading it while I was there. But he's going to hand roll a cigar. He's very familiar with the YouTube scene. I was telling him about that, and he said, you know, that's uh, where I picked up most of my pipe smoking. He said, I've been in cigars forever, but he said, I'm, I'm really new to the two or three years into the pipe smoking end of it. And he said, that's my new passion. And he said, you know, he was saying, you know, it's just the whole part about, I said, it's a ritual. And he said, you took the word right out of my mouth. He said, it's just the ritual of the whole deal. It's relaxing. He's one of us. And he's going to be very supportive of the YouTube community. Um, he's going to ship anywhere. So you guys, look, I said, I got friends in Pennsylvania. I got friends in the Carolinas, Georgia. Indiana, Oklahoma, Florida, you name it. He said, I'll ship it anywhere. Glad to have them. He's going to carry the MacBarrens, the McClellans, some Lane Limited. He's going to have some house blends. Um, someone else he told me was going to carry. Then he's going to start out with about 30 pipes in stock in the beginning, you know, to see, to and then grow from there. He's going to, he's going to have Peterson's, Savinelli, Boots Chocolin, another upscale, I think it's more of an, of an expensive line, but I can't remember what it is, and then he'll have some basket pipes. He said, with well, the basket pipes, there may be close to 50, starting off with, but you can tie up a bunch of money there, and then he's going to hand roll um, some cigars. He'll have, he'll have all the, the name brand stuff, but he said, I'm actually going to hand roll some, some cigars house blend so that's going to be great well, I can't wait to you know he'll have coffee and whatnot and he said look I told him you know I said we had a little club going in South Louisiana he said look I'll host y'all you get them guys want to come up he said then there is a bunch of pipe smokers in Monroe that's going to come out of the woodwork they've been calling me left and right he said I look for there to be a club started in Monroe and if it is Hopefully we can gain some YouTube exposure out of that. He said, y'all come in here and film. It don't make any difference. <laughs> he said, I, I'm with you. And uh, so it's, uh, y'all go look on his page on Facebook, Governor's uh, Cigars and Pipes, Monroe, Louisiana. Tell him I sent you and um, watch for him to get open. He'll have a website and he'll ship it anywhere to you. And I'm and if his blends are good, I'm going to push him on here and, and uh I'll be sending out some samples, you can bet. <clears throat> but anyhow, I stopped by the, my little place where I normally buy cigars and stuff today and picked up another brick house and I picked up a Maker's Mark. This is a, I've never tried, it's a, it's a Maker's Mark 650. And um, the story behind it is supposedly got a bourbon flavor it's the, the same people that makes bourbon and then it's sealed and dipped in their same wax that they use to make their wax ring this is about a twelve dollar stick and uh so if i don't like it i'm gonna be sick spending that much money but i usually don't spend that kind of money on on a stick i usually you know i smoke my little six dollar and 89 cent uh, uh, brick houses and i my butt muscles pucker when I spend that kind of money on a cigar. <laughs> so they really go. I may cry if I don't like this one. I tried a dead gum one. Uh, shoot, I can't even remember the name of it. Now it was about nine something and I hated it. What the heck was the name of it? 
And anyway, I'm losing it. Look, I'm about to run out of time here. Enjoyed it. Y'all remember to stop by and visit Phil, Piper Phil, and uh, pay your condolences. He's uh, and, and pray for that family. Y'all take care, and we'll we'll see y'all tomorrow. Y'all have a good one, and God bless you.